Well, now that you know that there are hoaxes out there, some of them are just to be funny, but when they get spread through social media, people can believe it. Uh, and, and some of them are hoaxes that are deliberately put out there to fool us. And again, we don't double check to see if it's a hoax or not, and we share it on social media, and pretty soon people start believing fake news. They start believing what's not true. So the Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus has been around since 1998 to show, hey, don't believe a website just because it looks real. So that was the first uh, lesson on scientific thinking. Don't trust everything you read. Look up to see if it's true. But now we're going to learn about a different uh, uh, type of website that isn't necessarily false news or fake, but it's misleading. And this is one uh, on a mysterious substance known as dihydrogen monoxide. So I put a link here to the Frequently Asked Question page because it's a great one to learn about, dihydrogen monoxide. Now this is the dhmo.org website, the Dihydrogen Monoxide uh, Research Division. And they have on their website that dihydrogen monoxide is a colorless and odorless chemical compound, also referred to by some as dihydrogen oxide, hydrogen hydroxide, hydronium hydroxide, or simply hydric acid. All of those are true. And most of us are not chemists, so we don't know what any of this means. And let me tell you, it's true. But wait till you find out what it really is. So, uh, this is said to be the basis of highly reactive hydroxyl radical, a species known to mutate DNA, denature proteins, and disrupt cell membranes, as well as chemically alter critical neurotransmitters. Now, that's true. It can do that. And the atomic components of di dihydrogen monoxide are found in a number of caustic, explosive, and poisonous co com compounds, such as sulfuric acid, nitroglycerin, and ethyl alcohol. All true. What are they hiding from you? Well, let's read some more and find out. Should I be concerned? Yes, you should be concerned about dihydrogen monoxide. Although the U.S. government and the Centers for Disease Control do not classify it as a toxic or carcinogenic substance, as it does with better-known chemicals such as hydrochloric acid and benzene, dihydrogen monoxide is a constituent of many known toxic substances, diseases, and disease-causing agents. Um, so, well, that's true. Why haven't I heard about dihydrogen monoxide before? Good question. Historically, the dangers of dihydrogen monoxide, for the most part, have been considered minor and manageable. And then it gets into a whole bunch of details. But look at the dangers of this stuff. It's, it's, some of the known perils are death due to accidental inhalation of dihydrogen monoxide, even in small quantities. Uh, prolonged exposure to solid dihydrogen monoxide causes severe tissue damage. Excessive ingestion produces a number of unpleasant, though non, not typically life-threatening side effects. Um, it's a major component of acid rain. Gaseous dihydrogen monoxide can cause severe burns. It contributes to soil erosion. I mean, all of these things are true. So does it sound dangerous? They're making it seem dangerous. They're making it seem like something we need to be concerned about. Uh, then it gets into what are some of the uses of dihydrogen monoxide. As an industrial solvent and coolant in nuclear power plants, by the U.S. Navy and propulsion systems of some older vessels, by elite athletes to improve performance. <gasps> Is it like steroids? Um, in the production of styrofoam. This is horrible. And you keep reading this and you're like, oh, oh, this stuff is bad. Um, and they even show the link between dihydrogen monoxide and gun violence. I mean, it's doing a lot of stuff here. But none of it is, is wrong. None of it is a lie. So why am I showing you this website? 
I mean, you look at this website, it looks professionally done, it looks totally believable, um, it even has where you can put in your credit card and support uh, the cause, sort of, so does the Pacific Northwest Tree Octopus, even though they don't really mean to take your money. They're friendly hoaxes, they're not actually out to uh, steal your or your parents' money. So what they're keeping from you is actually something very interesting. I'm going to go to the discussion, and I'm going to type something. Because dihydrogen, let's break it down. That means two hydrogens, right? H2. And monoxide means one oxygen. What is H2O? Water. Everything they're telling you here is absolutely true, but it's all about water. They left out one little detail that this whole website is about water. Had this website been called Water, you would have probably read all the things I showed you on the Frequently Asked Questions and gone, well, yeah, so, sure, you can drown in water. Yes, solid water, which is ice, can cause tissue damage. It's called frostbite. Uh, everything here was true. Water is a major component of acid rain. You can't have acid rain without rain, without water. This is what you got to watch out for. Some websites leave out a little bit of truth, which can mislead everything. So that's the second lesson on watch out what you find on the internet.